The Camino Norte gives you whiplash sometimes. You'll be on a road for 10K, and then you'll turn the corner and you're looking off a cliff at just super nice ocean. Woo! Santander. There's a ferry about, I don't know, 8k ahead and it's just stupid pretty. We're finally off the road. We're looking at this kind of a surf beach. It makes me want to just throw my sticks down and go in the ocean. No we walked past the surf school and kind of jokingly thought about it and then uh-oh, five minutes later, it's time to go in the water. We're at the beach. All of our stuff is back there. The boys are surfing. And Laura is icing her knee. And I was reading. So let's go to the beach. Coaster route's amazing. I've got like the ocean over this shoulder and a sea of corn over this shoulder. And they both look awesome. Beach Camino. That's sick. I don't think this counts for the Camino, guys. I don't know what everyone's complaining about. The Camino is super easy. We got a kitchen thing. We got Hans pouring wine. Bedroom is nice. Leaving our fancy, schmancy apartment in Santander and walking on the beach. And, oh, we're gonna walk a bunch today, it's gonna be beautiful. Trying to avoid highway walking, we plan to trek 30 kilometers today on a coastal route instead of the official Camino. We followed a written description online and headed to disaster.
footage ends here because then everything went wrong. Laura rolls her ankle. I step ankle deep in gross mud. Sean is attacked by a killer plant and has an immediate crazy allergic reaction. We lost the trail and eventually cut through the bushes in a field to find a road. We ended in a tavern for food where Sean took an allergy pill and immediately fell asleep. Amidst the chaos, we decided to take a cab the last 15 kilometers to Bo de Pialajos. What a crazy day. Yep, the Camino takes a train over the river to Mohro. In medieval times, pilgrims took a boat. Thunder, some really beautiful clouds, but I think we're walking into a storm or next to a storm. We'll see. So it started lightning, storming, and thunder. So we're hiding from it because we're at the top of a hill and there's a bunch of just exposed fields. So we're hiding from it in a cemetery, which actually worked out really well. Thanks, cemetery. So we. We waited out the storm in the cemetery, and Lainey, Lainey is, we're joking her nickname on the trail is Blurple, because she's a purple blur, and she's just got her head down, click clacking ahead. It's awesome. Sometimes the Camino takes you by a power plant. And a busy street. And a busy road. It's not always trees and fields. Just FYI. Super touristy looking town. It's where they film Spanish movies because it's so rustic. We say it's Santiana del Mar. Santiana del Mar. Ready? Yeah, sure. Yambra is quite the beach resort camping place. There's like thousands of people here and a bunch of campers. We look like weirdos. Our full wine shot. There's no label on the bottle. Rolling filter. Spaghetti beach dinner.
Hey team, spaghetti beach dinner. I don't know, the prettiest bar ever. Just on this cliff overlooking the beach. It's gonna be pretty great. Last night, we'll see you hopefully in Santiago. Cheers. <laughs>